Hi, Dennis Ray here. You're looking for a free screen recorder that has no watermarks or time limits, records webcam and high def, gives you a choice of various video formats. Here are five great screen recorders that fit these requirements. I want to add too, I did videos about each of these recorders that go into more depth. I put links for them in the description below. First at number five is Screen Rec. It is free forever, even though this says grace period. Um, if you don't use it for quite a while, say like a month or so, you'll get an email saying if you don't use it soon, your account will be terminated. It'll record in high definition, no watermark, no time limits, and save your video on MP4 format. Records your microphone or system sound, or both if you select this, and your webcam. And uh, those are the advantages of using ScreenRec. Now some of its disadvantages. First, you need an account to take advantage of all its features. Uh, there aren't many settings for screen recording. These are all you have, and uh, you can't change the frame rate of the recording. ScreenRec is not good for game recording. Screen Rec doesn't offer a cursor highlighter, but I did several videos about how to add a highlighter to screen recorders, and I'll put links for those in the description below. Also, it does not have a watermark, but it does leave this gray mark on the side when you do a recording of a full screen. After you finished recording, Screen Rec saves your video in its own cloud account library where you download it to your computer. This is the website where you can get Screen Rec, and I'll put a link for this in the description below. Overall, Screen Rec is a very good screen recorder for making tutorial type of videos for social media since it's very easy to use. Also, I didn't mention it has a very good screenshot capability too. At number four is Flashback Express version five. There is a version 6, but the newest version 6 has a time limit and does not record in high definition. So I cannot recommend version 6. Version 5, however, has no time limits, uh, no watermark, and records in high definition. Uh, Flashback Express version 5 is free and easy to use. It records microphone, PC sounds, or both, and webcam. After recording, Flashback Express saves the video in its own FBR format, and you can open it up with a Flashback Express player, which is installed along with the recorder, where you can view it. Flashback Express has a cursor highlighter, and uh, in the player, there's a webcam overlay, which you can move anywhere on the screen, and if you want to make some changes to the cursor or the cursor highlighter in the tools menu, there are some settings for that. And once you've done all your settings, you can save the video online at the Flashback Express website cloud or upload it to YouTube or ex export your video to your PC. In the export window, you can select to export your video either as a MP4 or AVI, or a WMV format, and then hit OK. Then you'll get this window where you can make your selections for your video. And once you've done that, you can hit the export button and make the selection where you want the video to be saved on your PC. And uh, that's some of the great advantages that Flashback Express has. Now the one big disadvantage that Flashback Express has is that it cannot be used for game recording. Here is one website where you can download Flashback Express version 5. I'll post a link for this and a couple other sources in the description below. Do not go to the Flashback Express website. They only provide version 6, which I do not recommend. Overall, Flashback Express 5 is a very good screen recorder that has some nice features is very easy to use and I recommend it. At number three is a PowerSoft online screen recorder. 
and there are two sources to be able to use it. Uh, the first one is asinker.com. Uh, the second one is a PowerSoft online screen recorder website. I'll put a link for both of these in the description below. Now they both work the same way. When you go to the website and use it for the first time, you hit start recording button and it will prompt you to download a launcher app, which you install on your PC. After the install, when you go back to the website, from then on, when you hit the start recording button, the recording app will start. And uh, once you have the recording app up and running, you can either close the browser or minimize it. Um, there is a annotation toolbar with the app and I found it's best to leave the browser running and minimize it to be able to use the toolbar. But we'll talk about that later. A PowerSoft online screen recorder is free. It's really easy to use, has no watermarks or time limits. In the main window you can record full screen or you can choose a region or a custom part of your screen that you want to record. Uh, you can record either system sound, microphone, or both. Uh, webcam. It's possible to have an account where you can upload your video to a PowerSoft's cloud and share it. Or you can just not have an account and save it to your PC. More, where you can have access to settings. In settings, under the recording tab, you have some nice selections at your disposal. Uh, under basic, we have show recording toolbar selected and uh, you can select which format you want your video to be recorded in. You can change different settings for the cursor highlighter. You can change the frame rate that you want your video to be recorded in. And then you can change other settings for audio and video. In the general tab, you can set your hotkeys and then also set where you want your video to be saved. This is an annotation toolbar I mentioned earlier that has some really nice tools in it. And uh, this is really a great feature for a free screen recorder that uh, most free screen recorders don't offer. That's really nice. A PowerSoft online screen recorder has some great advantages. However, its one disadvantage is it's not good for game recording. Overall, it's a great screen recorder. I highly recommend it. Before we go any further, I want to remind you that if you like this video, be sure to subscribe. If you don't like it, well, subscribe in a way. I'll get better, really. At number two is OSOFT's OCAM Screen Recorder. In the main window, there are these tabs, Menu, Screen Recording, Game Recording, and Audio Recording. In the Screen Recording tab, there is a Record button, a button for screenshots, a button to select the area of the screen that you want to record, a button to open the saved folder and a button to select the video format that you want to record at and a button where you can select if you want to record system sound, microphone or both. Then there's a game recording tab an audio recording tab where you can record audio like music. In the menu tab uh, you have options, all kinds of settings for your convenience, uh, recording settings, uh, you can set uh, frame rate, quality, uh, sound, capture, you can even record GIFs, make your own hotkeys, effects where you can have the settings for your uh, cursor highlighter where you want to save your videos. You can set a time limit if you want to. And you can even use watermarks if you want to. 
webcam settings, performance, and language. Now, OCAM does have advertisements in this area. And uh, if you want to get rid of the advertisements, you can either pay for a license or one thing I do is just so I don't see the advertisements is move the window down to the bottom of the screen so I just don't see them. This is the website where you can download OCAM screen recorder and I'll put a link for this in the description below. The advantages of using OCAM are that it's free, easy to use, has no watermarks or time limits, has a cursor highlighter, it's light on computer resources, can be used for game recording, records webcam, records in various video formats, records in high definition, but uh, does have one disadvantage in that it has advertisements. OCAM is a great screen recorder, one of the best available. The only disadvantage is that it has ads in the main window and when you close the program. But of course, you can pay for a license to make them go away. But I really don't find the ads as a problem though. I highly recommend OCAM Screen Recorder. Finally, at number one, the best choice is Open Broadcaster Software or OBS. It's well known as a live stream program, but it's an outstanding screen recorder as well. The reason for being above the rest is how versatile it is. It has so many settings and ways it can be used that it can be a little overwhelming for the new user, but doesn't have to be. After installing, the first thing a new user can do is go to the menu under Tools and hit Auto Configuration Wizard. In Auto Config, go to the second selection, Optimize for Recording, hit Next, let it do its thing, and your settings will be right for your computer. You can open up settings by going to File and Settings. And in Settings, you have uh, just a wide variety of selections and under General, Stream, Output, or you can select where you want your videos to be saved, uh, what format you want your videos to be, uh, audio, video, <clears throat> this is where you can select the frame rate for your videos, hotkeys, where you can make hotkeys for yourself, advanced, and just a number of different selections there. Down at the bottom, you can add scenes and then sources for each scene. And to the right of sources is audio mixer, scene transitions, and controls. This is the OBS website, and I'll put a link for this in the description below. And these are the buttons where you can download OBS. OBS is really an excellent screen recorder. Its advantages are that it's free, has no watermarks or time limits, records webcam, saves videos in many formats, records in high definition, has lots of settings, very versatile. Uh, it has easy configuration with the auto configuration tool can be used for live streaming, can record games, it's light on computer resources, but it does have a couple of disadvantages. It has no cursor highlighter, but I did a couple of videos about how to add a cursor highlighter, and I'll put links for them in the description below. And since it has lots of settings, it can be a little overwhelming, but the auto config wizard can help with that. Also, I wanted to mention I did a video about how to record a partial screen and a link is in the description below. Overall, OBS is an outstanding screen recorder and I highly recommend it. That was five excellent free screen recorders you should be using. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Take care. See you.